Bernie Sanders also wants Harris to raise her proposed capital gains tax rate. She's already calling for 28 percent. He wants more. House Ways and Means Committee Chair Jason Smith joins me now. Congressman, if she gets a capital gains tax rate that goes to 28 percent, if she gets it, what would be the impact of that? Well, she wants to, Stuart, raise taxes on all Americans, not just the capital gains tax. She's called for complete, complete repealing of the Trump tax cuts that would basically put every business tax above communist China. This would be detrimental to our economy. She's basically an arsonist who's trying to sell fire insurance. She created this terrible economy with the $10 trillion spending bill that she was a tie-breaking vote. $2 trillion in the American Rescue Plan led to record inflation. She was a tie-breaking vote. Inflation Reduction Act, almost a $1 trillion in spending. She was a tie-breaking vote. And that is why, that is why we have seen inflation go up 20.1% under Harris's watch. And now she wants to raise taxes on all working-class Americans, unacceptable. Congressman Axios reports that the White House uh, is preparing a three-month spending plan. The Republicans have a six-month bill ready to go. What's the difference between the three-month and the six-month? Is it voter ID? Well, one thing about it, we know that the Democrats don't support the SAVE Act. The SAVE Act is very basic, Stuart. It just says only U.S. citizens can vote in our elections. It's not even voter ID. Only U.S. citizens can vote in our elections. I don't know why Democrats really don't, don't support that unless that they like to cheat in elections, but timing will tell. One thing about it, there will not be a government shutdown. The, the media likes to sometimes say that there will be. The government will be funded, whether it's a couple months CR, whether it's a six month CR, is yet to be determined because of course, the Democrats control the United States Senate, the Republicans have a razor-thin majority in the U.S. House. You want a six-month CR, right, to, to carry it into next year. That's what you want. I want to make sure that government is completely funded and that we reduce spending. The reason why, Stuart, we've seen inflation gone up 20.1 percent is because of, of crazy spending. The only way to address that is Donald Trump is president. And so as soon as he's president, we need to get spending under control with the policies that will help reel back this incredible wasteful spending of the Biden-Harris administration. We, we have a spending problem rather than a tax problem. That would be my personal opinion. There you go. Carlos, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks for being here, sir. We appreciate it.